Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in real world science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status regarding flags per video, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in Google and Netflix interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer, or software engineer interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, for each video, find how many unique users flagged it. A unique user can be identified using the combination of their first name and last name. Do not consider rows in which there is no flag ID. So we are given a data frame called user flags and our expected output is a pandas data frame, right, with various different video IDs and the number of unique users who flagged it. And let's look at the data frame user flag. So it has four different columns, user first name, last name, video ID and flag ID, right? And it is possible that, you know, in some of the, uh, you know, people, for some of the people, there can be no first name or no last name, right? And uh, we don't need to consider rows where flag ID is not present, right? Okay. So since uh, the way to identify any particular user is a combination of first name and last name, what we can do is we can go ahead and make one column, which is like, let's call it both, where it has both the first name as well as the last name of the person. So let's try doing that, right? So let's create a column called both, right? Which is going to be basically since both of these are strings, so we can just directly go ahead and add these, right? So we can say, okay, user flags, right? From the data frame user flags, take the column user first name, right? And then add it with user flags, right? User flags, column called uh, user last name, right? And let's see uh, what do we have in the both column, right? So user flags, let me run this. So now if you look at it, right? So this is the column that we created both. Now there is one problem with this because if you look at these rows, right? So it has the first name, there is no last name, but if you see the both column also has nothing. So it is basically null in this case. It should not be null. It should be like Courtney and like nothing, right? Similarly, if you look at these, right? So there is no first name, but there is a last name and the both does not have anything. So this is because we are trying to add two strings and one of them is null. So Python is returning as output as a null value. So we don't need to do that, right? Because that is going for us to, you know, we are going to ignore these rows right in the final output and that is going to you know miscalculate our number so to do this what we can do is you take the user first name and if it is null you can use the fill any column to basically fill it with any value that you want so that if the per if you know the name of first name or the last name is not present you just replace it with something so that you know in the output you get something right even if there is no first name or last name it is not returned as null so what we can do is we can do the you know the international way of doing this which is which is a standard way where you know if your first name is not known you just write fnu in case and if there is no last name you just write lnu so we can just write okay dot fill na right so wherever it is null value so fill it with first name unknown right and if it is uh, you know a null in the last name so you just fill it with last name unknown right now let me run this so now if you look at it right so for all those values so for example here there is no last name so it is going to have courtney last name unknown similarly for lopez first name unknown lopez right so you have these values Okay, one part is done. Secondly, the question says that we don't need to consider rows in which there is no flag ID. So what we can do is let's make a data frame, like let's store in, in a data frame called DF, where what we are doing is we are basically performing a Boolean indexing. So you do you uh, user flags, right? And then from user flags, right? column called uh, flag id right because we are making sure that okay flag id should not be null so flag id right flag id dot is null right is null is equal to equal to false so it should not be false right that is what it means 
and let me return data frame so now let me run this so now here if you will see you are going to have all the rows where flag id is not null right now we can just simply go ahead and group by the video id and count the distinct number of uh, both because that is how we are going to identify a unique user right so dot group by right group by the video id and take the both column and count the unique values right so we need to write n unique right n unique and since uh, we group by video id we need to write reset index so that it appears out as a column so let me run this okay it should be uh, q u e spelling mistake okay so now if you look at it you have uh, if you look at our expected output it is very same right but one thing that is uh, missing is we need to rename this right so what we can do is just simply write dot rename what do we want to rename columns and we need to provide the old value so both should be replaced by number of unique users right let me go ahead and run this so now you have the video id and the number of unique users who flagged it okay let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in mysql so if you look at it same question uh, we are given a table user flag expected output is same as well and if you look at this table the information is same as well right so here again what we need to do is we can just simply go ahead and do okay from user flags and since we are you know not required to consider the flag ids where it is null right so we can just keep simply keep it wherever your flag id is not null you just only keep those rows right so flag id is not null then what do we need to do is we need to group by right group by the video id because for every video id we need to find the number of unique users so video id and we can return video id and then do the concatenate so you can you need to basically concat the user first name and last name and then count the distinct combinations right so if i do that right there would be one problem with it let me you know just write it and then can you guess uh, right now what the problem would be if i do the same thing that i just said that okay count of distinct and then concatenation of user first name right and user last name right and let's alias this as whatever is required in the output so as number of unique users right so let me go ahead and run this so now if you look at it right so in these two uh, we are counting one less can you think of the reason why yes actually this this is the same problem wherever you are directly concatenating right so if one of these is null it is going to come out as null as well right so that is the problem in this case right uh, so what do we need to do is let's look at you know if that is a problem or not so let me remove this right so let me remove this from here uh, and uh, let's keep all the columns right and then let's instead of counting we just simply do the concatenation part right uh, and let's alias this as uh, let's say combined right uh, combined and let me go ahead and run this so if you look at it right so that is the same problem if you look at right here right so first name is unknown and you have lopez so it is coming out to be null right and that is the problem uh, uh, because of which we are counting less in certain video ids so to you know get away with that we need to simply do the same thing right that okay uh, let's go back to the same thing right so group by right group by the you video id right group by video id uh, let's return video id and then uh, you know let let me just remove all this so count of distinct and then uh, you know concatenation of username for uh, for user first name and user last name but you need to replace the null values of it right so concatenation of that if it is null then you replace the user first name with right user first name with first name unknown right 
and then right and then if null right if null user last name then replace it with last name unknown right and let's alias this that as number of unique users right let me go ahead and run this right so now if you look at it right now we are getting the correct numbers let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how to do it so not a very difficult question but you know it can be confusing like you know why we are uh, you know counting the number in certain videos as less that is the problem of you know concatenating with null values right so what we did was you know simply from the uh, table or data frame user flags we made one column right which is basically a combination of first name and last name and we also you know fill those null values with fnu or lnu you can fill it with anything you just need to make sure that if it is a null value it is not outputted as a null so that when it is joined with something else right if the first name is joined with last name or last name is joined with first name it does not output as a null value right and then what we did was you simply grouped by the video id and counted those distinct combinations of first name and last name so yeah, this is how i do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video